Good morning. In the first reading, St. James counsels us, is anyone among you suffering? She should pray. We are suffering much now. Two years of the pandemic in the United States alone, close to a million have died because of COVID-19. It's going down now, but we are not totally secure because there might be a mutation again. And then we will go back to severe lockdowns that will also cause much economic suffering. People cannot go to work. Small and medium industries, 40 percent have closed. Caused a lot of suffering. And then, the devastation of climate change, like Typhoon Odette, also caused a lot of suffering and many hundreds of thousands of Filipinos are still suffering now, a few months after Odette. Is anyone among you suffering? He should pray. So we pray for Ukraine today to the Queen of Peace, Mary, our mother. Will cause a lot of suffering, especially to the children. And some are afraid it might trigger World War III, and that will cause the most terrible suffering the world has ever known. So President Vladimir Putin of Russia has brutally attacked Ukraine for reasons not even very clear to many people. Already hundreds have died. And families are forced to flee their homes. Fathers have to go to the front, the soldiers, and the others are engaged in civil, civil defense. And the kids are suffering. So in the gospel today, People were bringing children to Jesus so that he might touch them. Nagalit yung mga disciples. Pinagalitan din sila ni Jesus. And he said, let the children come to me. Do not prevent them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as this. That is the foundation, that is the ground, that is the basis why the Catholic Church has a special love for children. The shrine of Jesus the Divine Word has conducted feeding programs for children among the poor in the poor areas since the opening of the pandemic. Let us pray for our volunteers and let us pray that there will be kind-hearted people who will help feed these children. But Dom Helder Kamara said, when I fed the children, they called me a saint. When I asked why the children are hungry, they called me a communist. And he had a point. It is the duty of parents to feed their children. But if we create a society where wealth is concentrated in the hands of the few, and there are millions who are poor, we always have to conduct feeding programs. The parents, the poor parents cannot feed their children. They do not have the opportunities. Dahil wealth is concentrated in the hands of the few, Hindi, si Karl Marx ang nagsasabi niya, mga Santo Papa, social injustice. There is unjust distribution of wealth in our country and in the whole world. And that is why 
many children go hungry. Napakasimple. Tinatakasan natin yan. Hindi natin hinaharap yan, sabi ng mga Santo Papa. Social injustice. The unjust distribution of wealth. Taking away opportunities to progress among people who cannot go to school, who cannot even feed their children. Yung mga nanay, yung milk nila, kulang ng nutrients, the connections in the brains of kids will be lacking. So they grow up not being very good in school. Hindi na nakaka-intindi ng algebra yan at saka computational thinking. So, hindi nakakapag-isip ng ayos. Baliwala ang demokrasya sa ating bansa. Because you need people who can think. Analyze. Ito bang kandidato na ito? Makakatulog para mabawasan yung kahirapan. Para mapakain ng mga magulang yung kanilang mga anak. Sa tingin ng maraming katuliko nga, hindi inatrabaho ng simbahan niya. Eh, basahin ninyo yung Catholic social doctrine kung hindi kayo maniniwal. Ura et labora. Lagi kong binabalik yan. Work, uh, prayer, and work. Personal holiness and social transformation. If you accept Christ as Lord and Savior, then you should transform society so that as far as we are able, as far as our human frailty is able, we can mirror the justice in the fullness of God's kingdom that will come at the end of time. Ayan ang turo ng Catholic Church. Huwag ninyong pipiliin lang na ito, maganda itong pilgrimage, pilgrimage. Maganda yan. Maganda itong magbibilangan tayo ng one million Hail Marys. Napakaganda din yan. That's only 50% of the story. The other 50% is social transformation. Create a world where there is justice and peace. Peace in the Ukraine and peace in all other countries. Let the children come to me. Emergency, feeding program tayo. Long-term plan, social justice. Gagawa tayo ng pamahalaan, gagawa tayo ng ekonomiya, kung saan nabibigyan ng pagkakataon yung maraming tao. Hindi yung naiimbudo sa ilang daang pamilya sa ating bansa ang lahat ng kayamanan ng Pilipinas. Nagugutom yung mga bata. Tungkulin ninyo yan. Thus says the Lord, I was hungry. You do not give me to eat. Kinakalimutan din natin yan. Nagbibilang na lang tayo ng rosary. Ako nagro-rosary. Yan ang ata ang pamamaraan ko ng pagdadasal ngayon eh. In the face of the suffering that the world is undergoing. Pero inautosan din tayo. Para mapakain mo yung mga bata, create a society where there is justice. Where people, basta magsipag lang. Eh sabi rin ni St. Paul kasi pag tamad, huwag niyong pakainin. Pero ngayon kasi, kahit nagsisipag ka dahil yung pera, yung kayamanan, nasa kamay na ng iilan lang, kahit ano mo pang sipag, masisipag yung mga scavengers sa Smokey Mountain. Minsan, 16 hours nagtatrabaho yan. Magkano kinikita? 100 pesos a day, 200 pesos a day. Hindi kalooban ng Diyos yan. Hindi niyan mapapakain yung kanilang mga anak. Ipag nang uh, nabuntis yung nanay, yung nutrients na binibigay niya doon sa bata sa kanyang sisinia pupunan, kula. Let the children come to me. So as we learn from children to how to accept the kingdom of God, kasi sabi ng Panginoon, 
whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it. So we learn from children and let us also do our obligation as Christians, as Catholics, to create a world where love is more possible, to create a world where children will not go hungry anymore because there is peace and justice and the environment is preserved. The ecosystem is being defended so that it will, be, it will flourish, assuring little children and even generations yet unborn of a sustainable future. That is the will of God for those who accept Christ as their Lord and Savior. Pag hindi mo ginawa, kulang ang pagka-disciple mo Christ. Let the children come to me. Let us pray for the children in the Ukraine. Let us pray for the children all over the world. Let us pray for the children in our country that they will grow up with enough opportunities so that they can be all that they can be. 